Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Today I will be basically giving you a rundown on what you want for your character depending on what your playstyle is and how to achieve this very easily. Now, before I start, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. We're almost at 230 subs, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. So, let us get into it. First, if you are playing a heavy tank beef, you're an absolute beefcake and you're just going in on it. Now this is what I would recommend. Put all of your skills into Vigor and Control, and then summon to Horse Riding. Now, most likely if you're a Beefcake, you're doing Pull Arm. You're slicing, you're dicing, and all of that, okay? Next, I would also recommend One-Handed, because, you know, when you're in the Castle Battles, and then Bows, because Bows are just good, and it's good to have that. I'm going to upgrade that, so I can have that. And also Athletic, so you move a little quicker. Now, this is also what I'm about to say. As you can go to the party tab, apply. I mean the clan tab. Oh, good one, clan. You can go to parties and see quartermaster. He's in charge of that. Now this is what I'm saying. Take this whatever way you would like. But if you are planning on having a quartermaster, unlike me in the beginning of the game, don't be stupid. Just go. Oh yeah. I don't need to level up my quartermasterness at all, so don't put three focus points into it. Also, with engineering, like I said, just pick someone to be your engineer. Don't waste a focus point in a bunch of stuff for it. Medicine you might want to have because finding actual good medics is difficult, but it's all how you want to build your character. So if you're trying to make a beefcake of a man, obviously focus in these three. But if you're trying to not have to hire anybody and you want to be a self-sufficient guy, just max out these three, and then put a little bit into all of these, and just get the best weapons you can, and you won't have an issue. What I would recommend is, no matter what, almost max out your leadership. Now, the reason why is because for each of these, you're increasing your party size on it, basically. Because the more you basically make your party size bigger, basically the better chance you have of winning. Because let's be honest here. All of these are good, but no one really cares about 20% chance for a militia spawn as elite troops in a government city. No one really cares about that. You would rather have those extra 10 troops because you know you're going to be able to actually command them well. Now also, for trade, I've tried leveling up my trade. I just don't know how to do it. I mean, I understand you go around and sell stuff. It just seems useless. I just sell my stuff in bulk when I need to. I have $4 million, and I'm literally making almost ten grand a day, so I mean... Obviously, money's not an issue for me, but what I really recommend is don't be stupid. Obviously, roguery is literally one of the most useless, so don't put a bunch of learning focus in. Tactics are good, but make sure you know what you want. Like, scouting, same with that. Don't be stupid. Also, why would I choose desert? Because desert's not the main one. I should have picked uh, the tree one. Also, I would just like to say this. No matter how good you think you are at, how to say, creating a character, always look at what you want to be, okay? Now, I like to do this at the beginning of my campaign. When you select, when you're not even creating your character yet, you select your clan. This is what I would do. Sit there and think, hmm, I'm joining Sturgia. Do I think it would really be fun to, pl to play basically accountant and make sure my, like, everybody's doing everything, I'm scouting correctly in engineering? Or do you think it would be funner to be a guy with a giant axe who runs around and kills people. Now this is what I'm saying. Some people think it's so much fun controlling all that and making an amazing base and maximizing money and all that. I don't really like that. I mean my character kind of stupid because he's kind of short and weak, but still, I think it's ten times cooler when you have control over what it is. And don't be the person that spreads out like random points randomly. Like this was a mistake. I didn't put any in here. I shouldn't have put three in here. Stuff like that. Or the crossbow. If you're going to level up a bow, never do that. Same with throwing. There's no point in putting any of that in throwing because you're not going to use these two because you have a bow. Same with polearm. You're using a polearm, which is a long sword. Why would you put two in here? And then with this one, I is understandable. So that is what I'm saying. Don't be stupid. Don't like waste points is what I'm saying. Because most likely you want those points because, yeah... For my next level, I have to get...
4,246,000 X4246,776 XP. So 4 million, 4 million in the quarter, 1,000 XP to 38. Just for a focus point. Which I'm probably going to waste and put it in like, um, like medicine or something or scouting or I don't know. Just know what you want and also do research on the things. You studied the game. Oh, hmm. I think, hmm, athletics. Oh, one, that seems really good. I'm going to focus this. And then you start putting stuff in there. That's what you want to do early game. You don't want to wait until you're basically late game and then be like, oh, I'm stupid. Why did I put three points into this? So yeah, that is what I would recommend for a character build. And I will probably do an... Comment down below what faction you want me to do a character build for, and then I'll probably, if you want, I would be willing to do a character build of that to show you what I would upgrade and what I would basically increase. So I hope you guys did like this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.